Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm going to be doing a reading for Aquarius. So welcome. This is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Oh, I love this new card. I've never pulled this card before. So. Gaia Kali, our divine mother knows all with every answer and every mystery within her power to disclose, provides knowledge at the right time and in the best way. An answer to your question shall be provided. Do not immediately dismiss intuitions that are unexpected or lead you to unknown territory. Rest and reflect upon your insights allowing your wisdom rather than a re reaction to distill their usefulness and value. An entirely new perspective about a matter of importance, about a matter of important importance, wow, is awakening. A secret shall be revealed and all you need to know will be given to you. Wow. Wow, Aquarius. Um, Holy cow, that is a great, so it sounds like you're ready, you're, you've got a question that you've been waiting to find the answer to, you're wanting to find some clarity, and I love how instead of using logic and like having an inspired idea because it's so new come to you but instead of immediately dismissing it to sit with it um uh marinate in the possibility instead of immediately dismissing it love that all right your angelic light worker oracle card for this reading is 36 space clearing all right the best of intentions can be undermined when the energetic clarity of our space the best of intentions can be undermined when the energetic clarity of our space does not match the beauty of our aspirations you are being asked to truly claim your space to create, live, and be as you choose. Blessing a place and clearing it of negative energies can help transform the way we live within that space. Peaceful prayers of gentle, calming, loving energy can influence the dynamics of a family home or be offered to sites prone to fights or accidents. We might not realize how much a space needs clearing until we go through the process and feel the difference clearing away that which no longer is that which is no longer needed has benefits for your life space clearing can be sorting through and storing old files donating unwanted items to those in need or smudging and praying to clear energy imprints from your space you can do this effectively now wow um a couple things came to mind as I was reading this. Um, I've done a lot of house healings, um, building clearings, site clearings. And um, I think the the day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week one that I, I've noticed the most is when I'm cleaning my house, what energy am I cleaning it with? Is it like, oh, I hate doing this. This is just, uh, and every week and it's the same thing. If I've got, I don't want to be doing this in my house and I don't enjoy this, then it leaves this gungy energy around the house where instead I started cleaning the house with, um, I'm so grateful for these floors. I really like this. Let me give some attention here. I'm so grateful that I have this space. Um, I love 
seeing it clean. I, I love when everything is clean when I'm done and how wonderful it feels to walk barefoot and not feel gunk on the wood floors. And I love how everything smells very nice and clean. So you don't have to know a lot about space clearing to shift the energy of the space that you're in with how you are viewing that in that space and your interactions with it. All right, your animal totem for today is porcupine, innocence, free yourself of guilt and shame. All right, I don't see how these are pulling in together yet, but let's keep going and seeing how these oracle cards play into your the rest of your reading. So remember, this is a reading for the collective Aquarius. So take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, in your past, you have been in the energy of spiritual strength. I'm getting the feeling that you um, you're realizing the power of your energy first, that energy uh, mood, bottom of the deck, wheel of fortune that you are using your spiritual strength, like, like this inner strength that you are building um, and you've been working on it. It might be part of your job or you're using your spiritual strength um, if, if you're not in the spiritual field, uh, if you're not a tarot reader, Reiki healer, some type of energy work, it feels like you have learned how to use your spirituality to help with your work, how to build abundance in your world. realizing that you have, you can juggle a lot more in your life and balance a lot more at make really clear decisions that might not make logical sense, but by following your intuition, um, creating this wonderful flow, it looks like you're able to um, navigate the work your work world something there's another energy coming in it looks like there's someone in your space at least energetically speaking um who's um manipulative, maybe um, lies, use their lies to manipulate. I'm, not get, I'm getting that and then back to how awesome you are and the, um, it looks like in the past you got a new inspiration, a new urge to create something Maybe that is part of that spiritual strength where you're listening, like the um, Oracle card said that when you receive a message, maybe this is the message in the past and I, an inspired thought. Did you, did you kill that or did you, did you start working on it because it was the most exciting thing that's 
come to your mind. It seems like um, with the Oracle card, it, if there is an idea that like an inspired thought, a new project that has amazing potential that makes you feel really good and truly excited. Um, if you were to do that, did you kill it in its infancy of just being a thought or are you willing like the, um, the card said, the Oracle card, how, how to marinate and sit with it and see how it feels without um, self-sabotaging and just immediately disregarding it. It feels like there's a, a lack of inner joy in the past that you've been working through. It feels um, it's just a lot of dissatisfaction. It feels like you're understanding that there's some people in your life that aren't fitting the you you want to be. It feels like when you have a, a new idea and an inspiration that there, there, you don't have people around you or at least not many who are like, yeah, give that a shot, go for it. It's like someone who really wants to see you succeed. They might be um, dream killers. Um, they don't, see success coming from anyone else other than their ideas, what they approve of. Um, they have a lack of playfulness. Um, they, perfection pictures is what I'm getting that these people or person if this is resonating, they lack a playfulness of what have we got to lose? So what if you fail? Let's let's give this a try. It's exciting. And that's the energy of the 3D of your body saying, oh my gosh, I would love to do this. This is where I want to spend my time and put my energy. And I'm getting the, like every time I talk about this, then I get the energy from the people around you, people or person around you who's like, no, that's foolish. You can't do that. You need to do things in a very orthodox way, the way things have always been done. The thing is that you you've got this amazing leadership quality, whether it needs dusting off or that you are actually putting that in practice. You are disciplined and abundant and prosperous. You've got a lot of energy here that says that you are spiritually um, strong and you've got a lot of pentacles out here. There, and using this intuition to create something, a world for yourself, an abundance that, that you really love, that's a real reflection of you. Feels like where this is going, at least in the past. In present time, you are in the energy of patience. Um, You're waiting for something. It feels like you might be waiting for something to come along. Either you followed this idea and this work idea, this, and now you're in this patience mode, or you're waiting for another inspired thought. 
there's something that you're leaving behind and releasing and moving on. There's something from the past. Maybe you're moving on from this person or people that have um, that don't really support you and who you are and who you want to be. The great news is that you have everything that you need to create what you want to manifest. You have all the tools you need within you. Mm. It looks like um, there's something that's happened recently that's made you feel empty. Maybe it's, it's separating yourself from this person or people with this energy. And it looks like what you're doing right now is giving to yourself, filling your own cup, learning how to love yourself so you won't be dependent on someone else's energy. It feels like a real independence, a real owning your space and owning your energy. Maybe that's part of the space clearing is owning your space here and now you're moving out and owning the space around you, that you have seniority in your energy, you have agency, sovereignty. So it feels like a real crown chakra, um, owning who you are. Trusting your instincts, not needing others to uh, agree with you. Just realizing that um, their energy, their negativity is more about them and not a true reflection of who you are. Your higher self is in the energy of deception and envy. This is like seven of swords. Are you tired of wearing a mask? Have you felt masked even from yourself? Like, have you at work and around people have, are you doing that kind of masking? Have you done that so much that you've forgotten who you really are because you are a different person for everyone that you come uh, around? Do you see other people and, and envy them and think, oh, I would love that life. Why couldn't I have had that? Instead of using them as inspiration and being like, you know, that's a great idea. I love that. I've always wanted that. I think that's, that's what I would like to allow into my life. And I'd like to create that. feels like you are making big shifts about who you are and who you want to be. Who am I right now? And moving forward, who do I want to be? Your um, challenge right now, Aquarius, is to choose wisely. So this is like seven of cups. In the original tarot. I'm getting to not choose, um, to not bolt forward on something because it's familiar. Here I've got seven opportunities in front of me. 
I feel most comfortable like making a decision from comfort and familiarity versus what excites you. What excites you the most is coming through. Like what would be interesting, exciting, fun, adventurous. It looks like um, the more interesting it is to you and the more in, you follow your intuition, the faster the energy will move through it, through to allow you to have that choice because that choice, that energy also wants you. Whatever you are wanting wants you as well. And so what is blocking something from coming in it tends to be why, why am I blocking this? What belief do I have that says that, or beliefs do I have that say that this cannot be mine or I can't achieve this? And finding those, letting them go, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, I'm reading this two ways. So one of those uh, opportunities, choices that you have might be about finding balance. I'm getting this real that you that something unfair happened. Maybe this is in the past because um, I, I don't see these people or person in your present energies. It, all I see is that you left that energy. So whatever this energy, these energies are in the past that are manipulative, um, callous, emotional control, whatever this person or people created this feeling of injustice within you. And there's, it feels like you, you want them punished. And there's something about you wanting like a revenge kind of feeling even in thoughts or words. And what I'm getting is to let go of that because what you put out is what you get in response. So by knowing that they will eventually get their karma because whatever they put out, they will get returned and that you just focus on moving forward one that's part of the karma that this person or people will get is that you succeeded that you did what they te deemed imaginable they couldn't imagine you succeeding the second is that you're just taking care of yourself and moving forward and letting that go. So you can leave, you can truly leave that energy. It just feels like a, a call to let karma work its job and create balance. Are you finding it difficult um, to trust people because of this person or people in the past? Maybe it's also difficult to love yourself. You're working on it. Like, what does that mean? How do I take care? Is it just about pampering me? What, how do you fill your own cup? Feels like you are realigning 
with your values. What are your values? What do you find important? And to release fears that you're going to repeat this cycle. Noticing if you have those fears that I'm going to recreate and bring in the same type of people, same situations. But what does that mean? What belief would that uncover? Maybe that's a part of your opportunities, like choosing something, that's it. Choosing something different as part of your challenge, choosing a new opportunity that is very different instead of familiar. If you start choosing what you're familiar with and not willing to try something new, then yes, you stay in that same energy by trying something new inviting newness into your life just like at the very beginning of this reading i was like i've never pulled this card this is new this is the first time that that's happened i don't know what this is going to be like this will be interesting it because it's also new i don't quite remember what the message was that's new so not having to be perfect, realizing that um, you can invite newness in your life so you don't have to repeat anything in the past. And are you, are, are you feeling guilty or shameful for leaving these people or person in the past and moving on? Feeling guilty or shameful that you made mistakes like, let that go. That's how we learn. There's this perfection idea that we have to do things perfectly. And yet, how can you do anything perfectly? First of all, what's perfect? What's right? What's wrong? What's right and wrong for you? That's what's exciting. Learning about who you are, what your preferences are, and allowing others to have their preferences and go where they need to go. And, and yes, making mistakes is how we learn and letting go of any shame or guilt that you didn't do it perfectly. It feels like that perfection picture has um, kind of kept you small and maybe has helped keep you small and controllable from the people um, in your past. So, all right, Aquarius, thank you so much for sharing your energies. I hope this was helpful. Let me know uh, with a like or a comment and um, welcome to new subscribers. I would love if you wanted to subscribe and then continue to have these messages. Take care.